Hello, I'm back again. Uh, it seems to be that I'm losing the connection again. And if this keeps happening, I may have to record this offline again. Um, it seems to be somebody up there doesn't want me to do this live at the moment. Uh, so I'm back. I'm Sarah Perry, Psychic Medium, and this is your weekly forecast from the week of, from today, the 13th of April 2020 till the end of the week. I'll be looking at all the star signs. Uh, please do listen to your moon sign and rising sign as that may resonate more with you. And if you'd like a private reading at the end of this, then do go to my website, www.saraperrypsychic.co.uk. You can get a mini reading, full reading, ask a quick question, and also check out my Facebook groups where I am going to be doing online online seminars, workshops, uh, taster sessions that people can be introduced into some of the work that I do and have a little bit of a, a go, uh, you know, or understand, gain more information on what I'm doing on abundance, um, well-being, self-development, that kind of thing. I'll be doing refresher, Reiki courses and for in personal development too, if anybody's interested. And I do do one-to-one -one as well. So check out the website anyway and check out my Facebook it looks like I've lost everybody now because they're probably still watching the old video, but hopefully everyone will come back on. Um, so I'm going to look at the week in advance first for the collective as we are all part of the collect. Excuse me, I've got a bit wind. Collective. There is abundance this week. There is opportunities to be had. I do feel like where you may be at the beginning of the week feeling like you're walking towards a closed door up until Wednesday or like a very thin corridor and all your options are very, very limited. All of a sudden come Thursday, things will open out and it's like the sun coming out after, you know, a time of rain. Now I know in some countries it's been beautiful. It's it's actually not too bad here now, but it, we've had a bit more rain than usual. Um, but the feeling of isolation can feel very sort of clouded, you know, and that feeling of heaviness and restrictiveness. And so what I'm seeing by like Thursday, things opening up and, and the energy being a lot lighter. Now, there are rewards to be had. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep focusing on what you're doing and believing in what you're doing. Hi, Tilly. Um, because I feel that things are going to transpire as the week develops. And I'm getting some quite big things coming on Saturday um, for somebody around four or five o'clock. And I'm getting like a bet or somebody putting a bet on or risking something. I don't think they're actually putting a bet on a horse necessarily because there aren't any racing at the moment, but there's this sense that they're just putting themselves out there. They're taking a risk and it really, really paying off in bigger ways than they actually thought, okay? And this could be happening for a lot of you, but I am actually getting the sign of Libra, so that's important. Um, new beginnings this week. Think new beginnings, fresh ideas. Um, let go of any stubbornness that you're holding on to or restricting yourself. You may be in a place of restriction or isolation, but you don't have to put those restrictions on yourself anymore. You can do whatever you want in this place in your own living space so take the opportunity to start doing something start doing something with inspiration you know something that brings you joy it doesn't even have to be an awful lot as long as you, it makes you happy um the clock is ticking that's what i'm seeing but this is the divine timing for so much so trust in that right now there is victory here for people that are connecting with others long distance, you know, a sense of reconnecting, people saying bygones with bygones. You may not be hugging it out because you can't actually touch right now, but there is a sense that you are accepting the way things are and wanting to find a way to work forwards. I'm seeing particularly father situations, father children situations, um, you know, it's maybe where, and I'm getting a lot of male sort of stubbornness at the moment coming in, a male energy, but it could be within females, okay, because we are all, you know, yin and yang guys, we're not just one or the other, and it depends which energy you're connecting with, and if you're quite a stubborn, structured type of person who really likes the guidelines and doesn't want to change and is afraid of change, then, you know, I would say this is quite the, the male sort of energy coming through. Um, so I, d I do see th the rules starting to bend a little bit where, you know, this where maybe you've fallen out with people, maybe you've had um, difficulty getting through communicating, things are starting to open up, you may just get some glimpses of hope, it might not be 
the end of the road and everything's sorted or there's fulfillment there but there is that sense of it's coming okay do trust yourselves take a risk on yourselves this week um i feel like investments could be good now i don't mean just spend everything you've got in the bank and go yay it all on a horse because Sarah said so and she said it's going to be a winner what I mean is what is invest in your future you know what is going to be a secure investment that is going to grow it's worth spending that money because you will get something from it it may not be the end result but it will add to what you're doing or it will add strength to what you're doing and help you progress there's definitely this sense of growth coming new leaves coming up and I'm just getting a, a quite a nice sense of abundance here. There is a bit of work stress going on for people that work at home or people who've had to take their work home. You know, these are people that are used to working in an office, used to having lunch. I'm seeing people getting a bit annoyed because the kids are running around and thinking, I've got to get, still got to get my work done. Um, but also trying to be the family, you know, the dad or the mum as well and, and keeping things going. It's less easy when you, all the kids are at home. Um, and these are, I think the people that are going to find the more stress are the ones that have the structure again, who have this sort of daily routine, weekly routine. You know, the kids go to school. If you work from home, you, you know, you start working at lunchtime, you do your thing, you know, maybe someone comes home for lunch or in the afternoon, you maybe finish clearing up, um, you know, and get ready, get the dinner ready. And then the kids come home and, you know, it's that type of thing. It's like every day is organised. If you do have children at home, um, and I was just talking to someone about this, um, you know, and it is, and she's doing, I feel the right thing is keep some sort of routine for them. Um, again, it doesn't have to be like so restricted that, you know, because you're annoyed, you know, and you want to keep your life the way it is um, because you need to be flexible with kids. But there's that sense that they need a routine. And because if they're out of school for a long time and they're unable to sort of run to the park and do their thing, you know, don't allow them you know suddenly these bedtimes to become really late and um you know they're they're not actually doing anything that is good for them you know they're just sitting there on their ipads or whatever uh, because you've got to get your stuff done you know get them involved a little bit get a, you know and say right okay this is your bedtime this is your dinner time keep kids need that they need those boundaries okay we need our boundaries but we don't we restricting ourselves so it's the same create the boundaries that create a safe environment that you can grow and expand but at the same time flexible to move the goalposts if necessary or if need be hi julia now there is um a shift emotionally around the home anyway um and this is what i've just talked about with work but i feel like home is going to be more important um not just because you're stuck at home but because you'll start looking at things i can see people thinking oh i could do the i could really do some decorating now and i feel like this is the week where you start you might actually want to get it done some people have probably decorated the whole house washed it down cleaned it out you know cleared all the cupboards and now sitting going now what you know because they've done it and then they're going to start again for some of you, it may have been less easy to get started and have been thinking about that crack in the wall, filling it up or, you know, ripping the wallpaper down and starting again that you've hated for like, I don't know, 10 years. Um, and then, you know, and now's the time and you may just start planning or redesigning everything. You've got time to get it right. You've got time to have the quality. OK, that's what's important. Now, there is a sense of healing going on as well emotionally so allow yourself to heal be gentle with yourself stop being angry there could be some jealousy around or you might feel jealous about things and think mm, why is that person doing that why aren't they calling me you know why isn't this happening for me that kind of thing um you know it's almost like well why aren't they you know you're my friend you know you didn't call me first you know and where all this sort of camaraderie started off where everyone's going yeah yeah let's send these memes let's send some funny tunes let's lip sync let's do all this suddenly it's like well, why haven't you called me today and and some what this is is that what i call the downward slide is happening for some people right now where they're they're starting to get they are starting to connect with themselves they're starting to hear their own noise and it's starting to take over so be aware of that okay so let's have a looky at the the horoscopes for the week the tarot astrology um, we're going to start with aries and finish with pisces if you want to come back 
and listen again that's absolutely okay i'm going to be putting this up on youtube and i will be time stamping it as well so you can link to what you want just another reminder if you want a private reading with me go to my website www.sarapaddypsychic.co.uk and um Feel free to check out my art site as well and lots of things and my Facebook group, uh, Spiritual Development Programs Online, I think it's called. Um, I, don't, I made up the name, we can't remember it. Uh, but yes, I am doing a live session on Thursday on Zoom. You just have to download Zoom and if you'd like to be part of it, then just message me, uh, PM me if you can and just or comment and I will send you the link to go in all you need to do is download the app or just connect on there i don't think you even i think you just log on and then you just or you can just go in the link i think you just put the link in the description bar and then you just go straight there anyway it will be at three o'clock my time so that's 2 p.m in the uk and that is six hours probably about 9 a.m um unable to do all the time zones but um just check that out um so, uh, but -ba -ba -ba, if you'd like to see that, do get in contact with me. So they're like taster sessions. If you want to learn a little bit about, more about what I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of online packages and things like that so that you can download courses. Uh, it is taking a little bit of time because I am looking to make some real quality stuff for you. It isn't going to be expensive. You know, you're probably looking at a, a pound here, a pound there to download things. Um, because I want to make what I do much more accessible to people. Um, and I don't have that time to give one-on-one -on -one all the time. And also it opens out options for people, doesn't it? So let's look at Aries. What do I have today? Any Aries there? Um, ooh, okay, a lot of mental stuff going on, Aries. Ooh, I feel like, this is interesting, because I feel like you're being shown your, your strength. Okay, it's like somebody's saying, right, it's time to step up. This is your chance to take the crown. You need to be in a place of leadership. This is something where we are right now for you, Aries, is a place that you've been destined to be for a long, long time. Okay, I feel like it's your chance now. Things are crumbling away and now you have to take the lead. But you need to trust. OK, I feel there's this fear in you right now of like, can I do it? Am I allowed, you know, am I allowed to really do anything I want? You know, am I good? Can I be in control? The, the answer is to let go of the control and just do it. Be in the moment, be in the present, enjoy the flow. You've got the answers. You've got the guidance around you telling you what to do and when to to take action. I feel that this could also be to do with grieving, a sense of grieving, and that it's like somebody may have passed. Hi, Sylvia. Happy Easter. Hi, John. Um, so my dog's growling. Shh. Shush, do you mind? It's very loud. <coughs> I don't know what he's growling at. Um, so, you know, if you've lost somebody or you feel like a part of your life has just ended, you know, because that this this energy at the moment can bring up a lot of grieving in people or this sense of wanting to let go. They're saying is feel your pain, let go of it. It's time for you to step up because this last card is showing something ending. You know, this is like the end of the pain. You're burying it. You're putting it now. You know, you're, you're putting it to rest. You're not burying it, even though they're they are going to bury this person, but it's like this person's at rest, you know, they felt the pain, but now it's time to just sort of just relax. And I feel like you, you mustn't worry anymore about what's coming. You, this is the right path for you. This is the time to take the lead and to trust yourself more than anything, okay? So Aries, this you're stepping into your own this week. This is really, really important. Frank, can you be quiet? Frankie, what are you doing? It's all that noise. Very loud. Yes, I'm not that impressed. Okay, Taurus. Okay, God, this is... Do you know, I think a lot of people are going to be feeling a lot of emotion this week. Um, and again, there's that sense where everyone's been holding on too tight. It's just going to let go. Um, hi, Kelly. Again. Um, Taurus. There's a sense of hope in this feeling of loss you know it's like you're looking in and going that's what i'd like and you're starting to see something new something exciting you know um but it somehow it feels 
like you're you're in the cold you know and it, it's like I can't quite get at it but I know I just feel like this is a star of hope coming um and because this card as well is showing is the hermit which is when you know there's light within the darkness when we sometimes you know when we're isolating as we are or you you need to take time alone you're taking time out maybe you're retreating to find the answers and i just feel like you've been shown this a glimpse of this but to get there you need to go into yourself again so tell us as well shush frank excuse me <laughs> frankie come down stop that now that's very loud you have to go out yeah you have to go out um so this is um, this is a sense of needing to retreat this week um, or being guided to retreat and connect with yourself more than anything. You may feel like the walls are closing in this week, you know, but somehow the lights are going on. I think you're going to want to be on your own. <laughs> Even if you've been on your own for weeks, I just get the sense you're going to feel comforted by yourself but really connecting with who you are. And this card in the, this is the after deck, by the way, the after rider deck. And normally the swords are stuck inside the heart and that's like the pain that we're feeling, you know, heart type of thing. But really this is where it's coming out, all the pain starting to, you know, be released and you're able to heal. So I think this is gonna be a real healing week for you, Taurus. And a sense there is light, even in the darkness, even though you're still feeling a bit out in the cold and a bit uncertain, that somehow the reconnection with yourself is doing you an awful lot of good and you're starting to understand your own pain this week. So this is gonna be a very emotional week for you, I feel. It's, it's good though, it's, it's all healing. You know, these are gonna be healing cards. It's interesting isn't it how they come out now gemini gemini oh you're looking for quality something you've wanted for a long time could be coming in this week okay i feel like you're gonna start understanding what quality is this week for you gemini's and you're going to understand how much you've been giving and how much you've been receiving. I just get the sense your value's going up quite a lot, actually. You're starting to realise what you've got and actually how, you know, hi, Alexis, happy Easter, and, you know, you're, you're starting to realise what you've actually got to use, you know, to move forwards and how much you've got to progress and how actually you've got a lot to share. You're going to be in a very big place of gratitude, I feel. Um dum 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 <laughs> and again emotional pain it's like a sense you know now what you need to get rid of in order to have this luxury you're understanding the sadness you know or the people that have caused you sadness or pain you know why they've had to go why you've needed to release them or you know you're, you're finding a place now again of hope you know I mean this week you might be feeling I do there's that sense of gratitude but I'm still getting this sense of almost tears falling you know of like I'm really grateful but I'm sort of really sad at the same time because it's the end of an era and I feel like things are changing so Gemini's I think you're going to be in a real sense of transformation here but you're going to just and this guy, right, I remember looking at this card a few weeks ago and seeing this guy, as this is like the ray of hope, but I feel this is you letting someone just go. You're not going to help. You're not going to give where you don't need to give anymore. It's like you're realising sometimes the help that you thought you were giving is actually not helped at all. It, it's just caused you more pain. So actually it's easier to just let somebody go with it and they can learn to swim themselves. I think you've possibly been giving out too much and you're realising that you've, you know, you want the quality in your life now. So this is a, it's almost like this week you're preparing to turn your back, all right? To do, you'll be ready to let something go because you know there's got to be something better because somebody could be desperately, you know, always wanting your help, always draining you and they're, they're expecting you to fix everything. But it's now it's like, no, actually, this isn't a life I want to live. So this is good. Because again, for everybody, it's like people are starting to turn around. They're starting to realise, you know, let's find a way forward. Let's try and, you know, progress. So I'm saying, don't be stubborn, you know, go with those feelings. It's okay. It doesn't always have to make sense. Cancer. Okay. I feel 
this is interesting because I think this is time for you to just dream. Now, this is what I call the rest card of needing to give your brain a rest. But I think actually this is almost like a meditation week for you. I feel like you just want to be floaty, creative, just enjoy the beautiful things around you. Just start connecting, being mindful because there's so much inspiration. And, you know, if you're locked in with someone you love, I think this is going to be an amazing time. I mean, you might be locked in with somebody that you're friends with and you suddenly fall in love with but I think there's new beginnings and this sense of rebirth and new birth coming you know you might hear about babies being born you might you know a new idea could be born um it just senses there's, there's just inspiration in this sense of transformation you've got the it's almost like when you sit back and you just meditate and you just allow things to be in the moment things you know the, the butterflies start you know they're, they're a sign of transformation and beauty and you know it's I just feel you're gonna although you're being isolated you're gonna be filled with a sense of renewal this week you know you may find that you do rekindle some love with somebody that you suddenly your heart just opens and you suddenly reconnect with your you know yourself um, but there's definitely a lot of emotion here and this sense of just ease. That's what I'm getting. I don't feel that you're exhausted necessarily. Um, maybe you've been exhausted with fighting with somebody. I don't know. Fighting yourself, battling with things. But it's just a really lazy week. I just think just chill, be creative, be inspirational, read a book, connect with people you love. Just open to love this week cancer and i think that you know you're going to get some real results um and if it's not with somebody else and they're rejecting you <laughs> but i did say that a lot of stubbornness is going to break this week so that could be for you you know but if they are still being awkward let it go it doesn't matter you know what they think you're important and when you love yourself you'll attract the love remember that so leo oh this is nice Okay, so this is a lucky week. I feel things turning around. There could be a sense of karma um, being shown to you. New seeds being planted, new things growing, new ideas. Um, you may, you know, have that connection to your inner child this week. Um, lots of memories, I feel lots of nostalgia, lots of just again inspiration and i am getting things like inspiration out of books children's stories that type of thing the fairy tale being relived and we've got relationships here it's connecting with people connecting with family um putting making bygones be bygones i feel that if you've been arguing with somebody or you've fallen out or maybe you've been a bit detached from someone you love and you've you need you know you'll reconnect this week i think this is a good time to do it and you may find that things just turn around completely um, in your favour. I feel this is the karma card for you in the fact that things are going to be justified. Things are going to turn around um, in a lucky way for you. You know, um, I am getting a lot of knowledge and learning and just this new growth happening within your family and relationships and, and just finding a way forward. So again, a lovely, lovely energy for you this week. Uh, but do plant the seeds, you know, um, and, and let go of the fear of doing that. You know, if you love someone and you want to tell them, then do it, you know, put it out there. I feel like you, you know how to communicate, <laughs> how you should communicate. Okay, Virgo. Okay, I've just got to take a breath because I'm getting a bit heady. Um, so Virgo. Right. Be aware of your thoughts, particularly, OK, because I, I just get the sense that there's going to be I mean, this is connecting for me about headaches, you know, nightmares, that sense of like things playing on your mind. Um, do your best not to let the what I call the monsters come in, you know, out from under the bed, <laughs> shove them back under there and shove them in the cupboards where they need to be. Um, and I don't mean shove things under the carpet, but don't let them start breeding okay i don't feel like you've got anything to worry about this is all to do with your own mindset you may be concerned about juggling things um maybe money could be on your mind this week or how you're going to make ends meet if this goes on for the next six or seven months um but again watch headaches because i just feel like you could you know you could wake up in the night and it's just really playing in your mind and it's it feels like you're holding it in this area you know or you could be holding it in your lower back which could cause headaches as well that's what i'm getting um 
but yeah, it could be that you're just trying to work things out and you maybe feel like you've got a lot of responsibility on your shoulders and not the other way around. Um, but this is showing new ideas, investments, something producing results, something exciting coming. The rewards, I talked about the rewards in the main reading. It feels like what work you put in, you're going to bring out. This is a good time to invest in new ideas and to put something out there. So actually, this is good, Kelly. <laughs> good thing. It's a good thing. The thing we were talking about earlier, I think, yeah, I think it would be, work really well. Um, and it doesn't matter. It's not about doing it to gain financial, anything financial. Look at it as something that will gain interest or bring you more joy or bring more flow. And be you can something you can get excited about because that's where the abundance will come. So stop juggling around and look at your best options. You know, something that is going to bring you the most joy. And I mean the invest, you know, what's going to bring the most interest for you? and the most fun for you and then just get going and do it and just let go of how far or, you know what's going to come from it or you know what you're going to achieve it doesn't matter at this stage because that's how you stay in that present moment okay that is how you bring everything back to you you just focus on the fun and let go of the worry of what if or when or how or is it it's important if it's important to you and it's made putting a smile on your face and it's lifting your vibration and that's all that matters okay the rest will take care of itself you don't have to set everything in stone you don't have to keep everything that structured stop worrying about it it's almost like i feel like maybe sometimes there's too much organizing and it just needs to you know you need to breathe a little bit that's all um and then that will release any pain in your back now Libra, you're Libra already. Hello, Lynette. Um, right, Libra. What have I got here? Sorry, right. I'm going a bit like I can start going. Ooh, my head goes all weird. Um, right, there is. I feel the beginnings of confusion here, where you could be questioning a lot somebody's motives or what you should be doing, and I want you to be really aware that. Things are not always set in stone, that things are not always clear cut. And right at this moment, things are unsettled. I really don't want you to make anything to, you know, make any firm promises or create too much structure because I just think there's going to be more change coming. So if you were thinking about, I don't know, having a contract with somebody or you know, don't make anything too fixed. Just be a bit flowing because things are very changeable. And I just get the sense that you could end up really confused in your own head if you keep questioning. So it's almost like you'd be like, well, I need to do it then, I need to do it then. But the world isn't working that way right now. So there is no set time except what is in your very, very near future. It's the only thing you can count on. So unless it's really got to be done, there really isn't anything you can do uh, because I've got the moon card, but it's in the before state. And this is to me is it sh we're showing some sort of confusion on things. It's not quite there. It's not it's like you're just about to walk into a fog and you can feel the mist starting to take over, but it's not really so, you know it's not really covering it you're not completely absorbed in it when you're lost you're lost you know you're lost but you're not quite there yet you're sort of half in half out but what the the guidance here is don't allow yourself to get too caught up in your own head all right because i feel then you could then prevent yourself from doing something or acting in the moment you could almost like preempt too much i hope that makes sense because it feels like it's worse than the confused state because you're not quite in it. You know, when you're confused, you know you are, don't you? You just go, oh, I don't know what to do. What am I going to do next? It's either this or this, but it's almost like you can feel it, but you're not certain. And, and, and then you might frighten yourself. And I feel like you might end up talking yourself out of something. But at the same time, I don't think it's time to set, you know, maybe sign a contract or set something too far ahead or, set, you know, make it set in stone because it could change so just be in the you know just realize that things are changing you're in a transformational stage 
this is showing victory is coming but you've already hit victory you've already been successful and if you want to get yourself grounded remember when you felt that remember that you've already achieved a lot and whatever you do don't let other people cause doubt in your mind or influences around i think you need to stay away from some of the tv stuff that's going on because that might be causing you to you know or, or people say oh we're gonna be in lockdown for another 10 days and someone else says oh we're all coming out of lockdown and it's like oh well, that's gonna open it's like well we don't really know until it's done do we so it's all hearsay it's all speculation at the moment and every country is different and you know even if you're out of lockdown doesn't mean that somewhere else is and that could still cause delays so focus on the successes that you have focus on what you know right now and to be sure and whatever you do don't allow those doubts to start creeping in because i feel like if they do start really creeping and you allow that uncertainty then you could actually lock yourself down more and it will just build up all right so get out your head <laughs> that's what i'm going to say get out of your head okay libra scorpio this is me any scorpios out there Hi. Okay, what have we got for you? Okay, right. Ooh. Right, the first place I got was nothing is clear cut, although you are about to draw your sword and multiply. That's th those words I got that. There is the crown. You, you are the chosen one. <laughs> Hi, I'm the chosen one. This is the time. This is divine timing. You are the chosen one because it needs to be about you. You need to do things on your terms, around your own, in your own boundaries. And this doesn't mean being restrictive or non-flexible. This is just about doing what feels right for you at the time. When you start learning to do that, then you're really much more in the present. I feel like you have got a destined cut path. There is something that you need to do and put out there and it's going to be very, very good. But you're still in the process of leadership or, or being in a position where you can suddenly just you know take off um things are becoming more i feel the foundations are becoming a lot stronger where um finances are concerned even if you feel like they're not i feel they are becoming more certain you are creating more ground and that very soon this week you could actually create some more investments or put some things out there you know to to grow and expand um there could be a contract that comes to you okay something could be offered a job could be offered um but it's going to be in the beginning stages do take some time to think what is right for you OK, and if you are just being tempted into something because you're bored, um, make sure that you do things on your terms um, and that it's balanced, really, because I feel like what's right for you is, is important at the moment. You know, this is about, again, focusing on your own value and, and your present. So I think it's a positive week. I feel it's a very grounded week or a good time to get grounded. And I think that some things are going to start um, just come, you know, some of these um thing things you put out the seeds are starting to grow now and you know you could get a return on investment or you know there could be an offer coming this week which is really exciting and you'll be in a good place i think you, you're in a good place scorpio really if you've been doing the work have you been doing the work okay sagittarius now this is interesting because i see this is like you're going through or you're just about to go through your own death or rebirth all right this is like the beginning of not the beginning of the end but it feels like the beginning of um a cycle of grieving or where you turn things around and it's like a slow what i'm seeing is a slow wheel it's you're pushing it around this week but the results are going to be good you are finding a way forwards it's freedom i feel like you need to go deep within yourself you need to go through this grieving process maybe this is about closing a door on somebody maybe it is about coming to an end but you are you know this is, is going to bring you a lot of luck and a lot of clarity through, you know, you're going to be able to let go of your doubts because this is the after moon and this is to me showing, you know, what then is black and white, you know, what is, is right because she's walking through the middle to start with. The moon is just shining on. Is it that one or is it that one? I don't know. You know, there's two options here. Nothing's clear cut, but I feel like she's bringing the answers. You're going to get the answers this week on how to turn things around. So allow yourself, if you need to grieve, if you need to feel your pain, really go into it this week because it's going to pay off. And I just feel like there's some lucky serendipity is going to happen. Um, you know, you could have some special gifts, some bits of luck that come through, some emails that have, I'm getting someone popping the question as well. So that could be something, but it's time to close 
close the door on the old. It's time to start focusing on the future, um, but in the present, okay? So when I say focus on the future, focus on a new start and how to have a better future. Um, but yeah, you can definitely, just, just go with it. Go, f if you feel any, you know, you feel like crying or you're sort of up and down this week, just go with it because I think you're going to get more clarity by just giving into it and, you know, surrendering actually um capricorn capricorn doo -doo 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 -doo. right you are on the road to victory still okay i feel like there's a new path opening up for you if you want to take it all right i feel like somebody set you on this path a long time ago this is over 12 months ago you were ready to start this path you are now in the place to start implementing something that you want in your life and a new way to expand but you need to believe that and you need to start focusing on your wishes again you know i feel like this is the time when you light the candle and you make a wish or you get you know you look up at the stars and you say this is what i really want but you need to be honest with yourself when you're honest with yourself you'll stop giving in to the old temptations and the old patterns and you'll start getting yourself on that path that was set out for you there's things you've put out there a long time ago there's things that you've wanted and i feel like somebody up there has been keeping an eye on you but you need to start listening to your own truth. Stop avoiding it and stop putting things in the way that prevent you from having what you really want, which is success in your own eyes, okay? And it's success is different for many, many people. Um, but if you're wanting, you know, if you've been asking for change, you were looking for change before we went on lockdown, this is the time to start making those plans, you know, starting creating some strategies, you know, doing some research and really just connecting don't waste the time that's what i feel i just want to say to you don't just float around still doing the same thing and waiting for everything to get back on track because it's not going to be the same everything is going to be different and we can we um, cannot be certain that a job that we had that was there is going to be the same when we go back maybe it'll never come back i mean i don't want to frighten people but it's going to be done things are going to look very different so give yourself the chance to look differently, to look at what you set out to do over a year ago, what ideas you had. Start putting them down on paper, create a vision board and start being honest to the people around you and to yourself more than anything. You know, I feel like once you start doing that, you're going to find so much more balance um, with the people around you, you know, the people you love and just with yourself, you know, and, and have a much better relationship with yourself. Um, and get things back on track because I think some things for, for you Capricorns you know if you've had difficulties in relationship or you have had diff awkwardness it's to do with not being you you know and I'm not blaming you and saying oh you're not yourself you're a liar you know it's not like that it's just that sense that you're missing yourself you're overlooking yourself and you've fallen into a pattern of it and so because you're not yourself you're bringing in people that you're reflecting so they may not be, you know, some people might not be that desirable. You might have had some bad relationships, but it's because you're how you are. You know, if you're making things, uh, I don't know, you're doing things that aren't, you know, you're covering over the surfaces or you're not really getting being true to yourself. OK, and you're just doing things for security or just to avoid seeing the truth then you're going to bring people in that are exactly the same. They don't want to be any different, okay? So, and, and situations in your life. And, you know, things aren't going to be as strong and sturdy, and, you know, and valuable. They'll just keep moving away. It will just keep coming back and forwards. Okay, so listen to yourself. Right, Aquarius. Okay, I feel, so this is a beginning of a decision coming this week. A, um, you may be talking about a contract. You may be, I don't know, be in the throes of selling a house or doing some sort of business deal or talking about some sort of contract with somebody or decision you want to make all right and but this is the beginning all right i feel there's still stuff that needs to be ironed out you're going to need to throw some things out of the pool right so on an emotional level so some to get something done and to have what you're looking for okay and everything flowing and being fruitful something needs to go inside you and i feel like this is a part of you that needs to be let go of an emotional thing it could be you need to let go of somebody it might be an ideal it might just be how you you know you were conditioned to think 
but it's definitely an emotional pull. If you want to sell a house, you've got to let go of it. You know, maybe you've got a connection with it that is holding back from buyers and that's where all the issues are coming from. Maybe you're not getting the job that you want because you've got too much going on, you know, um, and there's not space for that job, you know. So it's like make you need to make room in your life this week. Think about what you actually want what you want to create, how you want to grow, where is your vision, you know, where is it going to end up um, in a year's time, 10 years time, what, what is that big vision, and now start making that contractual agreement with yourself, and if there is something already going on, make sure that that agreement marries up with this okay and if it doesn't then what has got to go what has got to change and it will be an emotional thing it'll be something that you've held on to maybe something you've been working on for a long long time and hasn't quite materialized but really isn't effective and it's actually just getting in the way you know sometimes we have to take things away to, to create more time now he's last of all pisces hello right Pisces okay this is the beginning of a journey this week for you I feel like you're testing the waters you haven't quite let go you haven't quite gone for it or you're thinking about it but something is definitely wetting your appetite this week and there are new beginnings now if you are uh, pregnant or you are you know if you are, then this might be that you you go into labour this week and you're starting that journey and it goes on for days, I don't know. Um, or you're just about, you know, you're coming to the end and something new is coming um, and you're just, you can sense it coming quicker than it is or you're just becoming aware of that. Um, there's definitely new ideas around, but this is showing, you know, this could be children coming or just that young energy as well. There's lots of happy times. That's why I'm picking up on that Um thing of births and you know maybe it is you're thinking about having a family um, and there is news or you suddenly think oh my god I might be pregnant you know and if you're a man then maybe it's um you sense it within your family um it feels very instinctive this week I feel like your your intuition is going to be very high it's like again I'm seeing Pisces sort of sniffing in the air going mm, I think this is coming and you're starting to prepare for that as well and this is lovely because this is showing divine time but also I feel this is a good time for all this to happen it feels like again it's like you're sensing the luxury in your life you're starting to sense the quality in your life you're starting to sense what has been good maybe what hasn't been so great and what you want to keep and what you want to nurture but I feel like this is a really perfect time for something really positive to come into your life and you may find that this is a new job you know maybe you can just sense it on the horizon because I feel like you haven't quite got it or you haven't accepted it yet but something new is transpiring there's definitely a sense of excitement here and something that is really worthy and fulfilling. And, you know, I feel there's a lot of luxury this week to have and a lot of abundance if you can connect with that side of yourself. So do some work on self-love, um, do some meditation, look after yourself and focus on your joy. OK, lovely, lovely cards um, this week. So I won't be surprised if I hear a friend of mine may go into labour this week got a feeling um i will let you know if necessary but i do feel it could be um you know this week you know i looked at the whole thing in general and you know th this is an abundant week this is a chance to really heal and this one of these cards i picked up was healing heart and he's got a clock and it's time you know it's time to heal it's time to just be vulnerable and allow it to take place this week because then you can get where you want and things will start moving a lot, lot quicker. Driving heart, you know, you're in control. You're maybe controlling yourself from letting go or healing, you know. And the sand card this week, aspiration. Believe in one's greatness. Belief in one's greatness will accelerate your desires. Okay. So although this is a sand castle, for some who create sand castles, they are their fairy castles, you know. It's like you start somewhere you know maybe it's just building it on the beach creating a model making a vision board whatever but that helps you believe it helps it great and it will help push things forwards so um, anybody that is interested in doing my seminar on um, Thursday three o'clock Spain time then do 
um, connect with me, just PM and I'll send you a link. It's absolutely free. I'm going to be doing them all free on there for, for, for a while at least. It's while I get my um, online courses fixed properly because then you can just download those and you can work at them in your own place. But I want to give people some tasters of what I do, um, what's possible to have, especially during this time and how you can make so much wealth and gain so much wealth in your life or you know during a time where it feels like everything's falling away this is a time of opportunity the doors are actually open all the boundaries have gone all the control is gone and everything is open now for fresh things to come in new ideas so use the time guys and if you'd like a private reading with me, then just go to my website, www.sorapraypsychic.co.uk. Single question is only $3. Mini reading, $10, $10. And on a Saturday, a full reading is only $33. Uh, it'd be great to hear from you. And I shall connect with you again on Wednesday. Um, not a short time because I am so now in my flow. I'm really not wanting to plan anything. So I may just pop up day to day. Uh, but... Enjoy the rest of your Easter and lots of love to everybody and speak to you soon. Bye for now.